forgot the little clip on the holders there um, for this part right here. Um, all right, so that's the first time me taking the deck off of the X758. I had not taken it off before, so uh, you got to see it real time, just like just at the time that I did it. Uh, that was the first time, so. Um, basically, I think we have nine hours on it now. Let's check and see. Nine point one. So we have 9.1 hours on this machine now. I'd say probably eight, at least eight and a half hours mowing. Um, maybe 8.3, something like that. Um, really, really like it. So um, the, for, we actually filled it up for the second time today and we got um, 0.83 gallons per hour, uh, which I don't think is half bad. Uh, the X748 averages about 0.75 gallons per hour. So a little bit of a discrepancy there. So let's talk about decks. Uh, what I wanna do is I wanna compare the uh, 60 high capacity deck to the 60 inch seven iron deck that was available from the 2007 to 2012 uh, X7 series. So I have, I think I have always made it very abundantly clear that this is probably one of my favorite decks that deer has ever produced. Um, my two favorite decks are this deck right here and then the 60 inch deck that was on the uh, 430 and then the 4-5 series. So the 60 inch deck that's on my 455. Those are probably my two favorite decks. Uh, we're gonna get into a little bit of the differences between these. Overall architecture, this deck is exactly the same. Same depth. The biggest change from this deck to this deck is the fact that this is seven gauge steel and this is nine gauge steel. A little bit lighter. Uh, everybody seems to think that, well, you know, why why would they go from seven gauge to nine gauge um, for these decks? And honestly, I think one of the biggest drawbacks of the seven iron is its weight. Um, its weight hanging underneath these machines is massive. Uh, it takes a lot um, to hang under one of these seven units, X7 units. Um, and it's known, these decks right here are known to wear out the uh, deck height uh, set, setting, the wheel underneath the machine. So let's talk about the differences. Um, so we have first have to, to say that the seven iron underwent about three modifications in regards to caster wheels. Uh, this, I believe, is the second iteration of the caster wheels. Um, so the caster wheels, are, there's three different styles of caster wheels on the uh, seven iron deck that was on the X7. Same thing with this 60 high capacity deck. There have been a couple different caster wheels. Also, at the same time, there have been a couple of different uh, front draft arms, and I'll actually pull out one of the examples here in just a little bit uh, to show you um, what how they've changed over time. I'm also going to talk about the front draft arms because it seems that uh, some folks are having some problems with those draft arms and their quick hitch fitting. So we have to keep in mind that this is a 2021 deck. So this is the latest iteration of the 60 high capacity deck. And there are numerous design changes that have occurred since 2013 when the new X series was introduced. So the X730, so on and so forth. Uh, one of the biggest changes is uh, the caster wheels, the draft, the front draft links or draft arms, and then this mount right here. So when these machines first came out, this mount right here, they did not have this added piece of steel right there. It was just this piece of steel. This ear was breaking all the time and I think deer had numerous instances where they were having to replace decks uh, due to uh, those being broken. At the same time, the caster wheels have changed. Um, I'm not necessarily sure that I like the current iteration 
but uh, because they don't swivel. And also at the same time, one of my, I think one of my least favorite things about the caster wheels is the fact that they have no uh, through hole to put something like this pin right here to keep those wheels in. Uh, so you have to be really cognizant of if, you know, you're bowing under something and, you know, this, this uh, thing right here bumps out, you could potentially lose a caster wheel, um, which is not a good situation. And uh, honestly, losing a caster wheel is probably not ideal because then there's a liability of if you run over it or not. So that is certainly something to be, con be concerned about. Um, and as I said, you know, the caster wheels have gone through a couple different iterations. So um, I think that's probably one of my least favorite things. One of my most favorite things, and this is absolutely shocking to me, is if you notice on the older seven iron deck and even on the first uh, high capacity decks, the drive over ramps were metal. I think the, the black ramps are absolutely hideous. And I was extremely skeptical of uh, how I would feel about the black ramps. However, I will have to say that with the black plastic ramps, probably one of the most beneficial things is the fact that you can lift them off. So when you blow out the deck at the end of the day, I mean, you can see that there's no crap under there. And I can tell you, even though we've only mowed with this deck for... A couple hours this year it probably has and you can kind of see under there kind of has all kinds of crap already under there so uh, that's something to be aware of like I said I don't don't necessarily know if I'm sold on them but it's probably one of my favorite features uh, the fact that it makes it so much easier to blow this deck off uh, compared to the previous ones where you have to loosen up the two carriage bolts or the the two lock nuts that are attached to carriage bolts slide the the um, shields off and I typically only do that once maybe twice a year depending on when the deck is off of the uh, tractor overall you know like I said the deck is not too much different uh, I really enjoy the cut quality um, there is no difference in the cut quality between the two um, I have absolutely zero complaints about the cut quality uh, on this deck so what I want to do is I want to get into the draft arms so let me go get my other one here in just a second and we'll uh, talk about the draft arms all right so front draft arms clearly there are three different types of draft arms here this set of draft arms is the older style this would go on the older X units um, you know really nice beefy things uh, I mean the diameter is pretty good you know there's lots of adjustment up here on the threads in 2013, when they came out with the new X series, they went to this, which my guess is to reduce costs. So it's a welded instead of bent draft rod or front draft arm, however you want to refer to it. Um, this part right here did not change, but they welded these on here. And I'm pretty sure there were a large number of failures uh, or bending because I think this is a tube as well. But what I've noticed that over the over the years, and I don't have an example, there's actually where a later series of these draft arms, let me hold this up right here, they put a support right here. Uh, I actually, I have a picture, I think I have a picture on my phone that I'll try to throw in there. Um, so I think that these were bending and causing a number of issues with the decks. And then we have the newest draft arms, which are, they are thinner in diameter compared to the older X series style, but they are just a solid piece of uh, metal uh, rod. They are not welded tube, which I think is interesting. One of the things that I have noticed um, is the fact that it has a little less thread on it than the older draft arms. And also at the same time, um, I think there's some difference in the front mounts. I haven't 100% figured out exactly what the difference is here, but you can kind of see um, they're a little bit lower. And when you come over here and look at the older X unit, you know, in some cases I say there's not any difference. In other cases I look at it and tell me, and it looks like there is a difference. So I think that's just something we're gonna have to measure at some point in time. I did notice there is this little divot in the deck right here. I don't know what that's from. Uh, that could be from a number of things. So, uh, cause this deck shell can be used on a number of, of machines. 
depending on the gearbox configuration, pulley configuration, etc. So maybe on the stamping machine, um, the the front here was for something else. I don't. Maybe it's for the um, drive shaft on the uh, four wheel drive X units. I'm not really sure on the older units. But um, overall, you know, I'm I'm really happy with this deck. Uh, you've seen some of the differences. I do like this drive shaft. This is a splined drive shaft uh, compared to the older style drive shaft. That's just a square, um, which is over on the other deck. And I cannot tell you enough about drive shaft maintenance. I've, I've gone over that in a couple videos. Um, you know, something to to think about. Uh, I do notice that the deck gearbox placement is a little bit different. Um, if you look at this deck gearbox, the drive shaft's a little bit longer. Uh, there's not this plate on the back here. Because if you look at this deck right here, it has this extra idler um, because the deck gearbox is a little farther back. So that tells me that the, the I mean, when you start looking at the dimensions of the deck, the high capacity 60, the, let me see if I can get my fingers in here right, the front of it is longer than this one, uh, or at least it appears so, or something is different in terms of where they have put um, this gearbox. I would really have to get in there and try to figure it out and get a tape measure out after it. But overall, you know, I would say that I'm really happy with the 60 high capacity. I know uh, a number of folks had some issues with them when they first came out. I don't necessarily think that that's true anymore. Um, they've really kind of fixed them to uh, to work with the um, current machines. Now, something interesting that I, w I have noticed in doing all this is there's absolutely no reason that you can't put this deck on an X748. Um, the only thing you need to do that now the wind has picked up. We're going to get under here, underneath the tractor. So I think the only thing that you need is this set of draft arms right here underneath the machine with this bar right here. Um, I think that is the only thing you need to put these on an X748. Or to put the 60 high capacity on the X748. I don't see any, I don't see a reason why it wouldn't work that way. I don't think. Hmm. Just something to think about. Um, so, you know, the fact that they don't make a 7 iron for an X748 anymore, um, it might be something that if you want a higher capacity deck, you could buy this set of draft arms, which I am kind of shocked that. That's a chintzy piece of metal right there for holding that deck up. But I suppose if you can cut more out and there's efficiencies to be made, that's what you need to do. Um, but overall, you know, I would say that all you need is this right here and then you have to level it up. So um, if you're thinking about putting a high capacity deck on an uh, older X series, you could just go buy a new 60 high capacity deck for, um, I believe they're 2,200 bucks. And uh, well, I tell you what, I'm getting too old to be rolling around on the ground. Um, they're about 20, I think the 60 high capacity decks are 2200 bucks new. Um, that should come with everything that you need. And uh, you have to ask about the uh, draft uh, machine draft arms, but that's certainly something to think about um, as you uh, think about, you know, everybody's trying to find uh, 60. Uh, seven iron deck for older machines and uh, they don't make them anymore. So that's just something to think about um, Hopefully I've provided some uh, Good feedback on the 60 high capacity deck versus the seven iron deck that was available in the x700 series um, You know, there's obviously going to be some differences. There's pros and cons to both um, just to kind of wrap it up here the current seven iron or my my x748 seven iron you know, I really like the fact that the front caster wheels swivel. I have noticed in a couple t instances where the caster wheels here have dug in a little bit. Um, and I think it's going to be hard to keep the caster wheels down on the ground a little bit lower. Uh, one of the things that I do like about the new 60 high capacity deck is the fact that it is serviceable. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the deck back on the X758. That way my wife can mow again later this week. See if we can uh, put
put some more hours on it. I figure I would do a, I'm going to keep doing the videos comparing uh, the 758 to other machines. Um, and I figure what I'll do at 50 hours, I'll do a, a 50 hour review on it. We should hit that at the rate we're going. We should hit it probably um, early, uh, probably late June. That'd be my guess. So thanks for watching.